Over the years, Ubuntu has become, whether you like it or not, a reference point in the Linux world. Despite its ups and downs, Ubuntu has been synonymous with Linux for many users. Newcomers often enter the world of Linux distributions through Ubuntu as their starting point. A new version of Ubuntu is set to be released soon, Ubuntu 25.04, codenamed Bucky Puffin. In this video, we'll take a brief look at the new version after using it for some time, even before it entered the beta phase. Stay tuned. First, impressions are always important, and ours were positive. Even though we installed Plucky Puffin while it was still in alpha, it surprised us with how quickly the system loads. As a reminder, in one of our previous videos, we shared our experience with a popular Linux distribution that took around 25 seconds to boot. Now, Plucky Puffin loads in about 15 seconds from a random SSD. Not only that, the system runs smoothly and is overall quite responsive. Even the apps from Ubuntu's own Snap platform, which have gained a reputation for being slow to start, work as they should. One of our issues with Ubuntu in recent years was that its app center didn't function properly. For instance, it would get stuck when trying to install its own updates, forcing us to revert to the command line. Just imagine what novice users might think in that situation. This time, both regular updates via the software updater and snap updates via the app center have worked seamlessly. We used the system to produce one of our latest videos, even though it has only recently entered the beta phase. Ubuntu 25.04, codenamed Plucky Puffin, is set to be released on April 17th. It's based on a newer Linux kernel, version 6.14, and features the latest GNOME desktop environment, version 48, as of the time of recording this video. It brings numerous improvements and features, both on the surface and in the background. In this video, we will mention only a few that average users will likely notice by the time they install the system. Thanks to GNOME 48, Ubuntu now offers an even more modern and cohesive user interface, providing a simple and comfortable computing experience. One notable new feature is called Wellbeing, which is similar to Android's digital well-being feature. It helps configure settings like screen time limits and eyesight reminders, and can even set the screen to grayscale once the screen time limit is reached. All major productivity apps have been upgraded to their latest versions. For example, the popular image editing program GIMP is now at version 3 in Ubuntu 25.04. The same goes for other popular apps, such as LibreOffice, which is at version 25.2.2.2. It goes without saying that all essential GNOME apps have also been updated to their latest versions, including the Nautilus File Manager, better known as Files. Plucky Puffin even features some new core apps, including a new document viewer app, codenamed Papers. And, of course, the newer kernel means better hardware compatibility and support, so if you install Plucky Puffin on your hardware, it will most likely recognize all of your components automatically. Have we encountered any issues with Plucky Puffin so far? No, the system has run smoothly and it's stable and fast. It even recognized our wireless hardware. Just to remind you, in one of our earlier videos, we discussed issues we had with wireless hardware on Linux. The only downside, in our view, is that Ubuntu 25.04 is a short-term release, meaning it will be supported for only 9 months. 
Just a reminder, long-term support releases of Ubuntu are supported for five years. This means that if you install Plucky Puffin on your machine, you will need to upgrade to Ubuntu 25.10 once it is released. However, Plucky Puffin is significant because it indicates the direction Ubuntu is heading, giving us a glimpse of what Ubuntu 26.4, the next long-term support release, might look like. That's all for today. Have you tried Ubuntu 25.04 yet? Are you happy with it? Share your experience with Plucky Puffin in the comment section. Thank you for watching the video. Please give us a like, share it and subscribe to our channel. See you next time.